Yo, what up, biker fam? How are you guys today? I'm back with a brand new video. So today we got everything hooked up. There was snow out here at 4.30 this morning. I woke up at 11 and it was absolutely gone. So I'm not going riding today, but we are going to spit up, set up my speedometer, tachometer, hopefully. This broke on me, so I ordered a new, a new one. Don't worry about that. So basically I had this thing running yesterday and nothing was reading from the sensors down. I had to set up the new sensor in a different spot, make it a little closer. I had to go run to Home Depot, get a piece of sheet metal. I got a piece of the uh, L bracket there, made it all night. I'm going to make it look pretty once I know it works. And so all you guys commenting on my last video of my eight-year-old little cousin getting a brand new sled, okay, that kid's been on an 850 snowmobile since five years old. So I'm very confident that he can ride an 850 or a 600 like his brand new sled very well. I'll leave some videos here for you guys so you guys could check out his skills. But for all you But for all you guys in the comments, being Karens and Kevins and all that stuff, calm down and let the kid live his, live his life. He's had two little snowmobiles, two little, 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 little kid snowmobiles, okay? So like, you know what I'm talking about. He's had mid-size, he's had every type of size snowmobile that, that you can get a kid before he got on a bigger sled. So that kid's been riding the Polaris 850 for the past two years. So I don't think a brand new Articat 600 will be too big for him, okay? Calm down, thanks. Appreciate the concern, but trust me, we know my little cousin, all right? Oh! I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're actually getting some snow right now. Look at that. Well, it didn't work, so I guess I got a long day of figuring out how to get that to work. <laughs> oh man, it should be fun. So, so what I'm gonna do right now is <clears throat> reset that magnet pin right there and maybe get it face uh, sensor a little better. I'm gonna mess with that a little bit and reset the wheel size on that. And then hopefully we get some reading or some motion. I don't know, we'll figure it out, I guess. All right, so we got that epoxy down there, the magnet. It's uh, drying right now, so I'm gonna run over to Ollie's, get some uh, paint to make that look nicer. As you can see, we did have some movement with the track and the magnet, so I know it works. I set it up in a different spot, and I'm, I'm going to move this a little closer. A little closer so it reads better, and look how crappy that looks, man. I wanna paint that. Took a lot of beading on the install. We'll get that nice and looking nice. I head to the store. We'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I got a tip from this guy I've been talking to about snow bikes, about a tunnel box. And he said, just go to Harbor Freight and get that instead. So I'm here. I'm going to check it out. All right, guys, we're back in the garage here. What do you guys think? I don't know how I like it, honestly. Covers up my stickers. What do you guys think of that on the back, huh? 
If you guys like it, leave a comment down below if I should install that on the back as a tunnel case or if I should leave it off. I don't know. I love the way it looks without it, to be honest with you. It just looks so sick. I don't know, but I feel like having the extra storage, the waterproof storage, would come in pretty handy. Then I wouldn't have to wear a backpack as much. I don't know, guys, but let me know down, down below in the comments what you think I should do with that, or if I should just get a number plate. I don't know. Let's paint that. Let's get this moving. Let's do this fake dyno testing already. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm out of here. It's the end of the video. Go like, go subscribe, go hit that follow button on TikTok. Share this account with your friends. Let's get this to 5k already so I can give that dirt bike away. You can either choose that dirt bike or $2,000 in cash because that's what I paid for the thing. Go like, go subscribe, hit that notifications button while you're at it. And it's all love. I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace.